Now to Japan. It set a goal to have more than 30% female board members in organizations listed on its top tier stock market by 2030. Since the age of Abenomics, there's been an increase in the number of women entrepreneurs in Japan, but cultural expectations still hold many back. One of the best ways to solve this is a role model, of course. Marie Kondo is one of those. She's one of the best, most well-known Japanese uh, businesswomen, has inspired millions to take up what she calls the Con Marie metho method of organizing. And it's done her very well. She's actually sold more than 13 million books that have been translated into 44 languages. And she's got over 4 million Instagram followers with her organizing philosophy that if items in our homes don't spark joy, then you just get rid of them. I spoke to Marie about her methods. The Komari method is more than just cleaning up your house or organizing, really. It helps hone your senses in this idea of identifying what sparks joy. And the process of repeating, of identifying what sparks joy in your life will help you better understand your own set of values and worldview. Therefore, in the process of tidying up your entire home, you're able to understand and clear not just your house, of course, but uh, your mind and your heart in some ways. So this extends to more than just your environment and your space. And it, it's really about the human connections that you have in your life, as well as your relationship that you have with work. So understanding all of this enables people and empowers people to be able to choose the lifestyle that sparks most joy in them. In Japan, the government wants over 30 percent of executives at major firms to be women by 2030. Do you think they will reach that goal? To your point, one of the first and foremost steps that needs to happen is the Japanese government needs to make this sort of movement, if you will, be known and help broadcast and make it a public statement. So that is uh, the fact that it's in the news already um, being achieved or they're in the process of doing that, certainly. Having the um, support system in place for more female executives to be able to balance their lifestyles with managing possibly a home with a childbearing component, of course. Uh, it generally would interrupt their career path to have this massive life change in, in their life. So a better daycare system, perhaps, or other ways to help counter this interruption of their career path and help them integrate into the workforce, I think is going to be key in enabling and empowering more female entrepreneurs and executives. And, and also, I think it's important for the female entrepreneurs to support each other, which is why even here at uh, Komari, um, our company, KMI, uh, we try, there's a lot of very uh, productive and able female workers that we have on staff, but in addition, we encourage people to find that balance between work life and home life and find what sparks joy and that's the type of organization we're trying to create. Add on to that, I think the number that you mentioned, 30%, of course, while that's important, what I believe is more important is not necessarily being fixated on this 30% number, but helping people define their career goals on a more individual level. So whether we're talking about women right now specifically, but understanding how can I contribute to the workforce and labor force, what I want my career to do, what is the, the setup that will spark the most joy for me. And I think understanding those goals, translating it into your own personal values will then ultimately affect the mindset. And I think it is very much the mindset of how do we go from uh, our current situation to wanting to become an executive. And I think understanding that the executive position or role is really just an extension of the, the proper mindset and career path, career goals that people define for themselves on an individual level. And once we have that shift in mindset, I think the government support system or infrastructure that they put into place will then become important to sustain and support the, the female executives and entrepreneurs. But it will begin from an individual level and mindset. Thank you very much.
Hello, thank you so much. Nice to meet you.